my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing an update slime collection video. If you're wondering why I'm uploading twice this week is because it's the holidays where I live so I thought I may as well since I have so much time and I also might upload a few other videos this week so look forward for them and let's get started. This is my green rainbow loom slime. It is so cool to touch but it is a little bit sticky the rainbow limbs give it a really cool texture and make it feel a little bit crunchy too. It's such a cool slime. This slime is so cool because it's glossy and it's kind of clicky too. I love this slime so much. Comment down below if you want me to try remaking this sort of slime. Here is a really awesome clear shiny slime. So this slime is basically just clear glue with some lotion and activated. It is so cool. It's a bit more of a putty though. It's not that stretchy, but I love to squeeze it in my hands. This slime is a pink slime with some micro flume beads. The micro flume beads give it an awesome texture and it feels really cool. But I love this pink color too. This slime is my favourite slime at the moment. I just made it today, but it's already my favourite because it is so glossy and so clicky. Comment down below what I should call this slime. I kind of want to start naming my slime. And I think I'm going to recreate this slime, so look forward for that video. This slime is my blue butter slime. I love this slime so much. Me and my friend actually traded this slime, and it has, like, the best texture, and it's so spreadable too. I love this one so much. Here we have my glitter and confetti um, slime. It is so spreadable and if you don't know what confetti kind of pieces are, they're non-edible rainbow kind of strips and it's really cool. I didn't add that many so you probably can't see them. Here we have a full to the brim phloam slime. It is so crunchy but there's a disadvantage because sometimes if you make slimes full to the brim they're kind of stiff and the phloam beads sometimes fall out too. Here is another phloam slime, but this time it is more buttery and not as full. It's a little bit sticky this slime, but I still love this. It's really cool. I love the texture too. Here we have another phloam slime again, but this one is super crunchy and so fun to play with. As you can tell, I have a lot of phloam slimes. What did you guess? Another flame slime. Then you're correct. Well, here's another flame slime and it is a clear based glue slime and it also has flame beads and it makes it have a super cool texture and it's so crunchy too. This slime is my best butter slime. It is so spreadable. It's spreadable than any other slime I've ever made and it's got like a super soft texture and I love the slime so much. Here we have my last slime. You may have seen this slime in my last slime collection video, but it is a super clicky and super soft slime. It is so nice to play with and I love this one so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.